How's it going everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today we got some big 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 plans. So uh, as you probably saw at the beginning of the video we did a time lapse of me constructing the insane mob grinder and today we're going to be testing how freaking awesome it is. We're going to see how quickly we can get to level 30 and we're going to construct something else which I don't know what else probably more to the military to the rocket launch facility you know you know you know you know the name that i could uh, not think of at all until the very middle of the episode but uh we're going to be creating more so without further ado let's get started we are going to start at the uh mop grinder so let's go there so actually before we go back there we're going to kill ourselves just so we'll have uh no levels oh no i gotta take this off Alright, but yeah, we're gonna see if breaking that block of arrows will actually cause me to die. I assume it will. It's a lemon with the suit. Alright, let's uh, let's break this block. If we die, we're cool. We, uh, it didn't get hit by all the arrows. <laughs> we are burning, I guess, so let's just do this. Um, I don't want to get rid of any of the torches. I mean, we could have said that slime kill us. Alright, cool. So we died. Now we can go slash home. And you want all of our stuff. We have no levels now. So we can time how fast we get there to level 30. Okay, so we're at the mob grinder right now. As you can see, we have zero XP levels. So uh, let's see how quickly we can get to level 30. So before we actually see how quickly you can do it, I just want to show you my sword. Obviously, my sword is really good, so if you don't have uh, as good of a sword as me, XP may be slightly slower, but still, this farm is absolutely insane. There we go. As you can see, Entity cramming- oh my god, at 12. Holy- no way, what? Oh my god, this thing is so fast. I don't even have the time lapse because it's that fast. Oh my lord. I'm um, obviously having sweeping edge and XP boost does greatly increase this, but we can do some tests with just a generic sword. Oh no. Bro, this is like a minute. Oh my we're at 30. I don't even know how long I've been recording for, dude. It's probably been like 20 seconds. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Oh my god, dude, this thing produces so much, so... Um... At the beginning of the video, I did the time-lapse, right? I probably didn't show any of the water being made. I'm pretty sure I didn't put any... Show any of the water being placed. But essentially, there's just a row of water on this wall. That drains them all to the middle. And then there's a row... That's, uh... I'll show you in here. There's this right here. There's a row of water that takes them to the middle where they all get dropped off. Um, I tried to use magma cubes, or, no, nah, is that right word? Magma cubes? Is it? Let's find out. Magma block up there to stop the, uh, like, skeletons will spawn on bulls, and they'll try and kill you, and I try to get the cows things to just land on the magma blocks and die, but, uh, they ended up floating above it on the water, so, obviously there's still some, like, improvements that can be made on this farm but this farm is insane dude okay this will lead me to the next part of the video which is power so i am in my uh creative test world to show you how nice and easy it is to use these uh enchanting tables and all that i actually need that let's just get some iron ore real quick all right so we're gonna put some iron ore in here uh these are redstone furnaces. I made a mistake. Oops. Alright, so these are redstone furnaces. This is the death generator, and this is a dischantment table. So, uh, you don't actually need grid power to use either of these. But, uh, 
I believe if you have grid power you can use like speed upgrades. I don't actually know what they do on generators, but I want to show you that these things actually power pretty good. So with the diamond, actually this probably won't work because it's not enchanted. Yep, so with the non enchanted sword you can't use it. But if you have a sharpness 5 sword like this and you put it in there, it will last for about 17 minutes. You can get sharpness 5 by using uh, this bad boy advanced enchantment table. You just go like that, depending on the amount of XP levels you have, you can enchant it, enchant all your stuff, custom enchantments and all that. But yeah, as you see, this thing uh, generates 40 RF for a while, and uh, it smelts iron perfectly fine. Uh, absolutely nothing can happen, unlike with the debt generator, which if you uh, put bone blocks in here, it generates 120, which... Huh, okay, wait, what? Okay, well, bone blocks are supposed to generate 120 RF, but that's that's fine. Oh, I guess it's 120 RF a tick. But yeah, uh, these, uh, this with bone blocks is absolutely insane. Produces a ton of energy. As you can see, this isn't fluctuating at all, unlike... I guess neither of them are fluctuating. But uh, if you get too close to this, you'll get these particles that give you death, and the way you... Uh, can get rid of that is by drinking a good old milk bucket, you know? So if you just drink this bad boy, you'll remove any, uh, I'll show you to, I'm not very smart with this, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's zero. Yep, sword and survival. You come up, you see that specter of death will arrive, it's called doom. You drink the milk, boom, you're fine. You don't have to deal with dying. Unless you uh, go back up to it. Huh, alright, well, you see that this thing produces really good uh, power. Um, so, the reason that these two generators are so good is because the drops from killing the mobs actually drops enchanted items, uh, drops bones, rotten flesh, and those can all be used inside either the death generator or the disenchantment table. Uh, obviously you may need to enchant stuff to get better items which you can put in the disenchantment table for it to last longer I'm really curious how long this one's gonna take so let me just all right I can't middle click that oh oh that's fine all right so if we break that let me put this really long sword in it ah you see uh, <laughs> almost two hours <laughs> so yeah uh, making an insane sword <laughs> kind of worth it but yeah uh, I just want to show you how good the power system can work that is actually ah oh, nuts you see you know we're gonna go over here you didn't you didn't see anything uh, that's gonna do it for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed um, obviously if you want a better tutorial on how to build this I will definitely go into more depth if you want it but other than that it has been me lover of lemons and I will see you in the next video Na 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 Spider-Man!